Good morning, Aquarius. This is Renee, and welcome to your reading. This will be your love reading for December. And of course, um, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Okay, and welcome to my channel, Aquarius. If you're returning, thank you for your support. What do we have for Aquarius for December in love? <clears throat> we have perception. We have growth. Okay. At the bottom, we have impartial, impartiality, impartiality. So I feel like you're kind of unbalanced at the moment, Aquarius. I feel like um, there may be a lot of decisions that you're making, but I feel like whatever the situation is, I feel like you're growing into this situation. I feel like it's growing on you. Does that make sense? But with this perception card, I really feel like you're aware of your surroundings. And you're becoming more aware of something. It is what it is. So yeah, I feel like you're like kind of going with the flow right now. You are kind of accepting things as they are. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, Aquarius. But usually to me, it is what it is means like whatever, man. I'm like, I'm here. And you have, into me I see. So yeah, I think that you're doing a lot of soul searching at the moment too. I think that you're really soul searching about your situation. At the bottom, what you don't see is that you have a burst of magic. So I think if everything is like normal day to day, I think that you're going to have some kind of burst of magic. This may be a burst in your ideas. This may be just a passion coming into your perception. Yeah, this may be someone new coming in. This may be your burst of magic, Aquarius. Let's take a look. Let's see. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to try these. Let's see. What message do you have for Aquarius in love? We're going to get a love message here from the Island Time of Wellness. Let's get a love message for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius right now? Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Yeah, so you may already be in a relationship and you're just enjoying the view. You're enjoying, you know, where you are in life at the moment. And you also have the boat. So you may be traveling. You got the boat in paradise. Uh, receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. Okay. So yeah. With paradise and the boat. Yeah. You may be going to some kind of destination. <clears throat> you may be really enjoying yourself at the moment. At the very bottom you have the phoenix. So, Aquarius, what you don't see is the phoenix is rising. It's a new phase. Something is being rekindled, renewed, transformed. Something is growing, and um, this is changing your mind. 
very interesting. Very interesting so far, Aquarius. Let's get into some tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Let's see, we're going to take this deck. Yeah, let's see what the tarot has to say about the situation. <clears throat> How is your De December going so far, Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? For the love reading. For December. What do we have to, what messages do we have for Aquarius for December? What do we have for December? We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. So I feel like you're surrounding yourself with people. You have a certain group that you kind of that's around you. This may be work. This may be the people that you work with because three of pentacles, this is normally associated with work. You have the knight of pentacles. <clears throat> you have the king of swords. You have the nine of swords. Wow, what are you worrying about, Aquarius? What's on your mind? You have the Eight of Wands. You have the Nine of Cups. And you have the Ten of Wands. Okay. At the very bottom, you have the Death card. So yeah, that's that transformation. That's that transformation that it was talking about. You are transforming at this time. You are coming into your changes. Something has ended so that there can be a better beginning. We really see this sun and the towers um, over in the distance. And I'm really feeling like this had to come to an end so that this can begin in a better way. Um, but yeah, you're going through huge changes at the moment, Aquarius. Something is changing for you. Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles and the Hermit. So I feel like, you know, you're surrounded by people. This could be you surrounded by friends or family, or this could be you at work. But I feel like you're surrounded by people, but you'd rather be alone. You're kind of like in your feelings like, Okay, you know, this was nice, okay, but you kind of wore out your welcome. <laughs> it's time to go because I want to be alone. I want to be in my own feelings. I want to um, listen to my own mind for a while. I don't want to hear everyone else talking. I don't want to hear other people's conversations. I want to be alone. I think that's how you're feeling at the moment. You're, you're trying to find your isolated moment. You kind of want to get rid of the noise. That's what I'm feeling. Because, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords, you're standing still, you're not moving. But I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're working hard. I feel like you're working hard to try to find solutions. And maybe this is dealing with your situation. Maybe this is dealing with the person that you're dealing with. But I, I feel like you're working very hard to find the solution that you need. You're trying to be supportive in the situation. Um, but you're, I feel like you are strongly looking for a way out. You feel stuck. 
you feel like you're not moving forward. And see, in the back of your mind, you want this more playful. You want this happy expansion. You want, you want to receive what you need right now. You want to go on this journey, on this vacation, on this, on this boat. You want to just leave everything behind. Very interesting. And this King of Swords may be someone that you're dealing with, Aquarius. This is also an Aquarius. This also may be you. Um, this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um, so you may be dealing with a, um, another Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. But this may be your energy. And I, I kind of feel like this is your energy, Aquarius. Okay, now you have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like you are, you're overthinking a lot of things. I feel like you're worrying a lot. You're caught up in your head about decisions that you need to make that you're just not quite ready to make yet. But you're going to be moving towards what you need to do. And you're kind of doing it at your own time, at your own pace. But I feel like whatever questions, whatever answers that you need, um, they're going to come to you. And I'm sorry. It's that time. If you've watched my videos before, yes, I have some kittens. And yes, they're rambunctious. They are in the morning. They're just all over the place. So if you see the camera being bumped, yeah, it's them. I apologize. Okay, so let's get back to this. So we have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like all you want is your Nine of Cups. You, you want to feel more happy and more content. You want to be inspired by something. I feel like you really want to be inspired by something. But I, you're looking for your happiness, but all you're feeling is the normal day-to-day -day burdens that you have to deal with. I feel like you you haven't found that spark. You haven't found that spark yet that brings you your 9 of cups. Let's get some clarification on this. What's coming in for Aquarius? Can we get an outcome for Aquarius, please? An outcome for Aquarius. Get an outcome for Aquarius, please. <clears throat> Let's get an outcome for Aquarius. What messages do you have in love for Aquarius for December? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. So yeah, Aquarius, this may be, this may definitely be someone new coming in. If, because this is the Queen of Wands. This is the spark that you've been looking for. She's very passionate. She's very loving, very feisty. I feel like this is something that's going to cut away this boredom, this being stuck to energy. This may be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries who's coming into your life. Hmm. But it doesn't have to be. But it 
that's what rules the ones. What else do we have for Aquarius? We have the Page of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, this is very interesting. Because with the... With the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords, I feel like maybe this Queen is investigating. They have their eyes on you. They're looking at you. And I'm, I'm not sure if you know that they're watching you. But this Queen of Wands is watching you. And she's investigating. She's trying to see if you are a person that she wants to deal with. Or he. Yeah. It, it could be someone who's just spying on you. But I feel like you've kind of opened their curiosity. You may receive a message from this person. You may receive a message from this person in the near future, Aquarius, because they're totally looking you up. They're totally spying on you. They may be going on your page if you have social media. They're looking at your background. They're looking at what kind of person you are. They're really doing the work. Okay. Yeah, you have the King of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, this, this is definitely someone who's very interested in you because this is, this is your companion. They are very interested. So, whatever you've been through in the past or whatever you're going through at the moment, this person is coming in. They're very interested. They have their eyes on you, Capricorn. Now, I don't know if you represent the Queen of Wands or the King of Wands, but the King of Wands, he's very bold, assertive, powerful, courageous. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, they're both very attractive. They're both, both very sexual. They're both very passionate. And I feel like there's a lot of passion that's going to be coming into your life. Wow. Okay. Yes, definitely. I love this energy. I love this energy, Aquarius. Yeah, you have the magician. So this is something that you or this person are manifesting. You are, you've been thinking about this for a while. You've been wanting this for a while. You may already know this person and weren't aware that they were really spying on you, tracking you down, investigating. You may not understand that this person was really into you and, you know, they were wanting something. They were wanting to create something special with you. They were wanting to, um, really see how you are. They, they, they want, you have the Knight of Cups at the bottom. So they definitely want something special with you. They're going to be asking you out on a date. Or maybe you should make the first move and ask them out on a date. One of the two. You have the, the Knight of Cups. So, you know what? You started out really in a stuck energy. Like you really didn't want to be around people, Aquarius. And now you're moving to this very passionate, very lusty, very strong creation. <laughs> it's very interesting because I feel like you're, you're taking your inspired action in order to kind of bring this along. In the comments below, please let me know if this resonates with you because I really want to um, hear your comments. I really want to hear. And in the comments, um, if you got this far, type in there. Claim it. Just type claim it. 
Okay, let's see what Aquarius needs to do in order to get past any challenges to get to this situation. What does Aquarius need to do to overcome any challenges to get towards this situation in love? Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Yeah, just understanding that you're successful. You're very appealing. You're very attractive. You have, you obviously have something that this person finds very appealing because they're spying on you. <laughs> they're looking you up. So just knowing that you have success in this situation, Aquarius, just feeling the openness to be open to love. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Very true. Yet, in order to move on to a new situation, we really need to let go of the past. We, we don't want to carry that baggage back into another relationship. But we don't want to carry any heartbreak any, in any new relationship. So yeah, we want to do that work before we make that leap, make that jump um, to let go of any excess baggage, any past regrets. And you have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. That's beautiful, Aquarius. Very beautiful energy. I'm loving where, there's, where this is going. And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah. You know what? Getting past any regrets, any rejections, anything that you were blamed for, anything that you blamed someone else, getting past, laying those rest, that's going to take you into your new situation very successful, very free. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy, Aquarius. Now this is your reading for, you know what? Just one moment. I'm going to, let's see what this person that's spying on you, let's see what they have to say. What would they say to you? What would they say to you? If they got you face to face, what would they say to you, Aquarius? <laughs> you speak to me through music. So maybe you work in a restaurant. You work someplace where music is playing and... Or maybe music was playing when this person first saw you. But I feel like... They associate you with some kind of song. Oh, I'm going to have kitties on a string. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like they're associating a certain song to you. That's the reason why they're looming. That's the reason why they haven't made a... They haven't made a step close to you because they feel like they're not good enough for you. They feel like you may not be attracted to them, like you are going to reject them. I feel like this person may be scared of rejection. That's the reason why they haven't stepped close to you. That's why they're just looking you up because they feel like they feel like they may not be the one that you want. Very interesting. But you have, I'm so attracted to you. So they obviously are so attracted to you, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, now 
this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Um, and many blessings to you, Aquarius. Love and light.